Yes. This is a boy born again. Um, I come to you, my fans, with another story. I like to tell my story. In the morning, because when I lie down at night, that's when things come back to me. Because, as I said, sorry about that one. Come to the mouse drop. Yeah, as I said, I like to tell my story in the morning. In the morning because yeah I like to tell my story in the morning because when I lie down at night that's when things come back to me and first thing in the morning when I get up I just tell my story so this morning, I bring to you, from your boy Bonnie, another story of my life. As I said, every story that I tell is the something that I actually go through in my life. And this one, I was living in Yalas, St. Thomas, Jamaica. And my job, I used to work for the Coconut Industrial Board in Alpha Tree. They park at the back of where New Kingston was, the, the office used to be between Alpha Tree and New Kingston, somewhere around there. And they used to ship coconut to various places. So my job was to draw the coconut from wherever in Jamaica to, New, to that place in Africa tree for them to ship them. So this story that I'm bringing to you and I have to leave St. Thomas to go to Westmoreland. There's a place in the Westmoreland called Helium at the bottom of Spurchy Hill you turn right and go into Helium round there they grow a lot of coconut peanuts and there is fish round there so this morning we leave St. Thomas about I would say about 3.30 we leave St. Thomas and we travel from St. Thomas. I was driving a Leland truck. One of the whole time Leland truck them I was driving. Round front Leland truck, not the flat front one, the round front Leland. They call him the Halbian. Halbian Leland. That's what I was driving. And the reason why I'm giving this, I'm just giving this to show my fans out there. What I've been through in my life as a boy growing up to reach my, the age that I am now. I'm, be, I'm blessed to be even be alive right now, to be honest and truthful to you. Anyway, this in question, when I leave St. Thomas, 3 o'clock in the morning, we travel down through. Listen, I can't remember the different name of the, the district then that I travel through, but I will give you a few that I can remember. So, when we leave St. Thomas, traveling through St. Thomas, Harborview, through town, coming through to Spanish town, everything was good coming down the morning. But when we get into Spanish town, there was rain. And when I say rain, I mean rain. So, from St. Thomas all the way through 
will be a right to have of you right into Kingston was good. But when we get into Spanish Town, the rain was falling and it looked like the rain was falling all night. Don't ask me how long. But just as we come through Spanish Town and touch the whole Arbor Road, it was pure flood was driving through. And I'm talking about like 4 o'clock in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. And this water was so high that you're driving from Spanish Town along the whole Arbor Road with ice factories coming down. And you couldn't see, that road is flat, but you couldn't see the road properly. Water was level off that section. And we take our time, travel through that heavy pool, pool of water. And we drive through and drive through until we come through it. I can't remember how far down. But by the time we get down to Wolaba, there was no more flood flood water we, we have good road driving on now anyway we go through that but the rain was still falling but when we get down to mapping when we get down to mapping square where the, the clock is in mapping right, in the square mapping it was still raining. That, this, that morning, it was so much rain that morning, it's unbelievable. And let me tell you something. When we go through, when we go through Maypen and cross over the train line, I, don't, I can't remember what down is so called, but we, we're going through hard. Oh God, Clarendon. We're going to ask Clarendon. But you cross over Mapen town and then you go across a train line. Just as you pass a train line and going down before you in, 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 into Mapen, there was like a river that come down overnight. And it's come over a hill. I don't know what down the name trust me but the water climb the tree them was higher than the truck when we get there the water already do it damage overnight as high as the truck is the tree them water touch them because you can see where the, the the rubbish pile on the tree but the water was still heavy on the road and that morning we couldn't pass at the same time we have to park up down there or at, at least three hours because the water was so high and heavy and we don't know what's happening so we park up there and for some reason we decide to go through and we drive through this pool of water because it wasn't it, like a draw so when you reach to that first turning, we you turn to go into Mapen because coming from Kingston, you have a turn off that you can turn to go into Mapen. And if you're coming from the other angle, there's another road there to turn into going to Mapen. I can't remember the name of these places. But anyway, we travel down and when we get down to Mandeville, there was no rain down there. It was dry. But the, jo the funny thing about this one, and this one is really, really funny. But when I was going through Mandeville, it was dry. And we get down to um, Spur Tree Hill. And I'm telling you, while I was going down Spur Tree Hill, Spur Tree Hill was dry. It was dry. And if you come from Jamaica and you listen to this video, you will know exactly where I'm talking. When you reach the top of Spur Tree Hill and going down, I don't think it is there now because I hear that they cut Spur Tree Hill and make change the road up. 
But when you're going down Spurgeon Hill, you used to have some pine tree and that inner bend, some pine tree. And when I'm going down past those pine trees, just as I go around the bend where the pine tree them is going down, there was nothing there. And as soon as I go around the corner, what I see? Some flower, some white thing on the road. And I'm thinking, it looked like a truck was coming up there carry flour. And one of the bag of flour drop off on the truck. And then must stop and sweep it up. So then sweep up the dust of the flour off of the road. So what happened? Then sweep it up, but it still leave flour dust on the road. And believe me, I drove past this thing, go down to St. Elizabeth, this place called Helium. And we load up a load of coconut on the truck. While I was down St. Elizabeth in the early morning, because we get down to St. Elizabeth at about 7 o'clock. While we were down there, what happened? The rain fall, but it never fall heavy, it's due. And believe me, when I'm coming back up, because the rain drew, the flower dust on the road, it's wet. And believe me, if you know Per Spiritual Hill, as I'm talking, coming up Spiritual Hill before, just before you get into the deep bend where the pine tree them is, that piece of stretch of road, coming to the corner, my truck touched that flower dust on the road, and all I could hear my engine rev out in the flower. Whee! And my sisters and brother, my subscribers, and whoever watching this video, if you know who I'm talking about. I don't know what happened that morning, but it's only God himself that take that truck steering and turn it towards the gully. And my wheel find gravity and go. On the back of the truck, I have three men on the back of the truck. In top, of, in top of it is me and the owner of the truck, the lady. And I tell you, if that never catch gravity and that truck lose control and we start to roll, if you can stay up with those pine trees and look down, it's just one long piece of field just going down and going down and going down. If, when that truck land, it will just break up into minces. But I'm telling you, God was with us that morning because we managed to make it through that flower and it come through. But I'm telling you, on my way back, I get back to Spanish Town and I get to the ice factory. The water draw and some guys stand up near to the runabout, past the ice factory, right at the runabout, and then say we will throw a coconut and get them. And I said, we can't do that bass and a full coconut. And let me tell you something. Boy, they start to cuss and say, throw a coconut, give one of the And they start to carry on. So I go for drive off the truck. And one of the guys pick up a stone, you know. The window was down. And then he, he, he yelled the stone, you know. I tell you, when he yelled the stone, you know, the stone catch me right on my shoulder, you know. Woof, right on my shoulder. And I'm thinking, what? So I have to lift clutch and drive and then start to stone the guy them on top of the truck but I'm saying this thing to saying this we who live in Jamaica we face some things in life and I'm telling you me personally I face some experience in life and that's why I use my life story to tell other people to let them realize because it's not me alone go through things but I'm just telling you this story because a lot of people write book of their life. What they've been through, how they come through it, and different, different occasions. So I can't read a book because I messed up my school days. So I can't take up the pen and the paper and write a book myself. But I, this is a platform that I've developed through the COVID thing in England here. And I decided to use it this platform 
to tell my story. So, my fans out there, my subscriber, and every person who watch my video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friend about Bunny Bunny. This is story is not fiction. It is real life story. I've been there. I've done it. And I have the experience in real life. I'm 60 years old. I start my life story from the age of seven. So every story that I put out is between my life growing up. So this is a boy bunny. Like again, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that button, that bell. And see all the video that I put out. There is more video to come. There is more and more and more and more video to come. Because my life is a story. God bless you. Keep watching. Thank you for watching. Your boy Bunny, in and out. Bless.